nearly 150 year history of the Jack Daniel Distillery, only seven men have served as master distiller. Bottling number two of the Master Distiller series salutes the man who saw the distillery through prohibition, Mr. Jess Modlow. Here in Lynchburg, we honor Jess Motlow's memory. Literally, his memory. Because without Jess remembering exactly how his uncle Jack Daniel made his whiskey, there'd be no Jack Daniels today. Jess Motlow was the younger brother of Lim Motlow. Their uncle, Jack Daniel, left his distillery to Lim. He left Jess his whiskey making know-how and the title of master distiller. Unfortunately, most of Jess's time as master distiller wasn't spent making whiskey because of prohibition. The Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg was idle for 28 long years of Tennessee and then national prohibition. When the long dry spell in Tennessee was finally over in 1937, Jess rebuilt his uncle's distillery from memory. Mr. Jess was quite a character. Ask anyone in Lynchburg about Jess Motlow and they're sure to reply with a smile and a story. Jess liked his uncle's whiskey so much, he was often known to take a jug of distilled water home for his wife's ironing. Or at least the government officials who watched over the distillery thought. And that was partly right. What he had in the jug was distilled. It just wasn't water. Today, we're glad Jess had a taste for Jack. It meant when the distillery reopened, there was no question. Jess would make sure his whiskey tasted just like his Uncle Jack's. He rebuilt the distillery from the ground up, making sure everything was the same. The family recipe, the cave spring water, even mellowing the whiskey drop by drop through 10 feet of sugar maple charcoal. It was a time consuming and expensive process, but Jess knew that it made Jack different. And so we honor Jess Motlow, Jack Daniel's second and longest serving master distiller with this special bottling. For without Jess, there would be no Jack.